ISIS, the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. Experts say they have manpower, a mission and money. They're being called the wealthiest terrorist group in the world. They could have anything between uh, one billion and two billion dollars. While exact numbers are hard to come by, the Sunni militant group has amassed a massive bankroll from a wide range of criminal activities like robbery, smuggling, extortion and kidnapping. Levying so-called road taxes on trucks, allowing safe passage through ISIS-controlled territory in return for cash and making minority Christians pay taxes to avoid crucifixion, according to a report in the New York Times. ISIS is also cashing in on oil, taking crude captured from oil fields in northern Syria and selling it back to the Syrian government, as well as threatening Iraq's largest oil refinery in the city of Beji. All of this adds up to millions of dollars for ISIS every month. Those millions then used to buy arms and pay for propaganda, like this high-definition, highly produced recruitment video. Stansfield credits the group's financial success to its leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. He has put together a plan, a strategy that he's implementing now at a time when nobody else has one. So he is following his plan in Ambar and also in Syria, where the fighting is now ongoing. He is capturing territory, he's capturing strategic points. Making ISIS even more dangerous, Stansfield says the terror group has more resources than al-Qaeda. What ISIS have is a, a very coherent area of operation. They have a very strong narrative in those areas that they're working. They have clearly defined enemies that are there. They, they can see them. They have success upon success now as well. And they are working in, in the heartland of the Middle East. Um, fighting against the Shia on their own turf. Um, these are all things that Al-Qaeda struggled to do, and this makes ISIS even more deadly. And an increasing concern to the Western world.